Hi, I'm Dandy Reiner from Hatchfinders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. So happy to be tying a fun new pattern with the weekly fly. Uh, right now I'm tying a leggy spruce moth, simply a spruce moth with little rubber legs. Uh, an extremely effective pattern when the caddis are hatching and of course the spruce moths. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna tie this little fly on a size 10 hook, but we typically tie them in a size 12, size 14, size 16. So I've placed my hook in the vise. The thread I'm using is a tan, but feel free to change up the colors. You can use um, a gray or even an olive. Start with a thread base. And take it down to the hook point. The tail is EP trigger point fibers. Uh, this is the amber color. Again, feel free to play around with the, uh, the colors. And the, uh, the tail is the same length as the hook shank. Snip off my tag end and tie that down. Next step is the dubbing, and this is an Antron dubbing, and the color I'm using is Squirrel Belly. So I'm going to put a little bit of dubbing. Remember to not add too much. It's better to add too little than too much. And we're going to wrap forward as evenly as I can, filling up all the gaps and spaces. And I'm going to come to just a little bit behind the eye of the hook. Right. Next step are the legs, and you can use um, medium or small round rubber. These are tied in the color tan. Uh, again, feel free to play around with the colors. There's two legs on each side, so I have my little strip of rubber already cut, and I'm just going to place it on the on the thread from underneath, and I'm going to pinch it so it's on my thread, and I come around with my thread, and I hug that rubber leg up against the, uh, the body of the fly, so there's one leg. And on the other side, the exact same thing. Tie it in securely. Next step is the wing. And we're using Snowshoe Rabbit. Uh, this is the natural cream color. You can use white. So I have my little rabbit foot here. I'm going to cut off just a small amount for the wing, maybe half a pencil's width, even less than that. Snip it off. And pull away any of the excess fibers. It gets everywhere. And you just simply place it on top of the, the hook. You want it to be about hook shank length. And we tie around, cinch that down really well. A few wraps. Straighten out the legs.
I'm using an ultra thread, which is wonderful. It's got a little stretch to it, so you can put some, some muscle in it when you're cinching down your, your, uh, your fibers. And then I come, pull everything back, and I get right behind the eye of the hook. And you'll want to whip finish this off. You can trim the little head entirely off, or you can leave a little bit of those fibers, kind of like a, a caddis style. But that's it. That is your leggy spruce moth. Whip finish it off, little drop of glue, and go fishing. <laughs>